Good afternoon. Here is the national news from our studio, BGI TV, Baba Bagede Imo TV. First are the major headlines for the national news. I am yours faithfully, Moriwe Redina Lawa. FG approved COVID-19 booster shots amid Omicron variants. Three smugglers back 16-year jail term for importing 661 pump action rifles. Riot in Oshobo as police allegedly kills truck driver. Wife burns husband's mistress to death in Ogun. The news and details. The federal government has approved COVID-19 booster shots as the world battles to contain the new Omicron variant. In a statement issued on Friday, the head of public relations units, the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency, Mahmoud Oitoto, explained that the booster shots are for those who have taken their first and second doses of AstraZeneca, Moderna, Pfizer, BioNTech, or one dose of Johnson & Johnson vaccine. He quoted the executive director of the agency, Dr. Faisal Shwai, as saying that the booster doses are for people from 18 years and above. Eligible Nigerians are therefore advised to go to the closest health facility or mass vaccination sites nationwide for the booster doses starting from the 10th of December. COVID-19 booster dose gives greater protection against the virus and urge all Nigerians to take advantage of the opportunity offered by the federal government of Nigeria, Faisal was quoted as saying. A federal high court sitting in Lagos on Friday convinced a retired officer, Mahmoud Hassan, and two others to a total of 16 years imprisonment for conspiracy and unlawful importation of 661 pump action rifles, unlawful importation of prohibited firearms, forgery, altering of forged documents, and bribery. Others convicted and sentenced to jail terms by Justice Ayokunle Faji, left court are Oscar Okafor and Mahmoud's company Assam Trades Limited. Justice Ayokunle Faji delivered the verdict after reading the judgment five hours in a trial that lasted almost four years in the course of which the first prosecutor, Mr. Julius Ajakai, and one of those defense counsel, Adamu Ibrahim, passed on. Justice Fajr, while delivering judgment in a charge brought against the convict on count two of the offense of illegal importation of 661 pump action rifles into the country, sentenced them to eight years imprisonment each on the said counts. He also ordered that the company, Asin Trading Limited, be used as a vehicle to smuggle, be one of and a set forfeited to federal government. Justice Fanji, however, discharged and acquitted the fifth defendants. There is currently power power warfare in Oshobo as a police officer shot a truck driver on Friday. An eyewitness told Daily Post that the disease who was driving a Shekinah Global borehole drilling a truck was brutalized before he was shot dead at the old typhoon area of Oshobo. The then truck it was gathered down along Ikiru Way. It was gathered that the driver and his crew allegedly blocked the road while trying to fix the vehicle before the police officers reached the place. An eyewitness said the police officers who came down from a mini commercial bus hit the driver with a shovel under the truck before he was shot with a pistol in the chest. Meanwhile, the corpse of the driver was taken away by the police Police spokesperson SP Yemisi or Palola did not answer her phones as at the time of filing this report. Operatives of Ogo State Police Command have arrested a 32 year old housewife and a mother of three, Kainde Abdul Wasil, for pouring petrol on her husband's mistress, Tosin Olubade, and subsequently set her ablaze. Report gathered that the victim, a 23-year-old woman, could not survive the incident. She lost her life. The suspect was arrested following a report lodged at Olupan Divisional Headquarters Hotel by the husband of the disease, one for Thai, Olubade. The police public relations officer in the States, DSP Abimbola Oyemi, confirmed the incident. Oyemi 
Olubele said he was surprised that his wife packed out of his house and moved to the house of Ismail Wasi, a concubine. He stated further that on the 4th of November 2021, he learned that the wife of Ismail Wasi had an argument with his wife and the said Wasi wife poured petrol on her and set her ablaze. The disease was brought to the hospital by her family members but later gave up the ghost while receiving treatment. The case was then transferred to homicide section of the state criminal investigation and intelligence department for discrete investigation. That was the national news from DGI TV. But before we go, a quick critique of the headlines once again. FG approved COVID-19 booster shots amid Omicron virus. Three smugglers back 16-year jail term for importing 661 pump action rifle. Routes in Oshogo as police allegedly kills truck driver. Wife burns husband's mistress to death in Ogo. Thank you for watching. We appreciate it. You can link up on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. On YouTube, Baba Bagide Imo TV. Kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell for updates of our broadcast. On Facebook, Bagide Imo with Alawi Adebayo. Please like and follow the page for quick updates of our broadcast as well. And on Instagram, Bagide Imo underscore 22. For other placement of goods and services, products, and coverage of events and functions, the phone number to call is 070 3822 6160. It's a Saturday afternoon here in Abelkuta, Nigeria. Wishing everyone a very blessed day ahead. I am yours faithfully, Moluvi Rebilalawa.